Mm. Yeah, she made this for me when I was in the hospital. And I love it. It's so pretty. So big. And then she made this. Which is an Indian doll. Yeah, her hair was all messed up. So I had to put it up to make it look a little better. So she has a hair tie in there. Because if her hair was down right now, it would be all over the place and crazy. But yeah, this is the Indian doll my grandmother made me. She loved to crochet. <laughs> a friend of mine made this for me. And I made like this little wall for my grandmother. And then there's this I put on there for her. I mean, I had it over here, her picture. But Ren will get up in the window over here and mess up the picture and knock down this. So I put it over here. So they, um, so you wouldn't mess it up anymore. The thing, this is what we got um, for her memorial. It's not focusing. There he is. July 11th, 1943 was when she was born. April 3rd, 2011 was when she died. As you all know from my first video, in loving memory of Rebecca E. Gutjall. And there's a thing on the back. One night, I dreamed I was walking along the beach with the Lord. Scenes from my life flashed across the sky. In each, I noticed footprints in the sand. Sometimes there were two sets of footprints. One time there was only one. During the lowest time of my life, I could see only one set of footprints. So I said, Lord, you promised me that you would walk with me always. Why when I have needed you most, would you leave me? The Lord replied, My precious child, I love you and would never leave you. The times when you have seen only one set of footprints is the is was the then that I carried you. <laughs> 